Let's walk into the Windward doors from the Windward walls. As you sort of get closer to that portrait, you see that his technique is completely unique. Yeah, is it chiseling away? Yes, exactly. I've never really spoken with anybody who has that kind of knowledge about this artwork and this movement. Uh, so it was really exciting to, for me to like open up and, and talk to them. This guy, I love him. Oh, out Ron of English thing. is, uh, that's... The older guy, right? Yeah, he's been around for years. I was amazed that he really did know some of the, these artists and had a, a grasp of what this whole culture is all about. Just as John Curran appreciates the work of these artists, his fellow golfers have recognized the uniqueness of his game. Oh, that's superb. Artistic. John Curran is an unbelievable player. Hits it very straight, very accurate. What he does out here on tour is really amazing. Curran's accuracy off the tee is one of his keys, finding the fairway more than 65% of the time. You keep playing from the middle of the fairway every hole, you're gonna shoot some good scores. While his tee shots are accurate, Curran finds himself as one of the shortest drivers on tour. Ferociously short off the tee, like the shortest person. To put that into perspective, the longest hitter on tour, Gary Woodland. Man, he can flat drive it out there. Averages nearly 50 yards farther off the tee. What he does is more impressive than what some of the best players in the world do week to week because we go over our rounds after what he hit into the holes and what I hit into the holes. And I look at him and I go, I don't know how you shoot these numbers. If I had to hit those irons in, I'd be lucky if I broke 80 every day. It doesn't have to just be hit at 320 and try to figure it out from there. You can play strategically, keep yourself out of trouble, and then when you get your chances, you hit the ball close to the hole, and he's really, really good at a lot of areas of the game, and it's very impressive. I want to be the shorter guy. It's a pride thing, and then I get the most out of my game, and I can compete with guys doing what I'm doing off the tee. Despite his lack of length off the tee, Curran will continue to draw on his passion for art to paint red numbers on the scoreboard. I think it may have helped my game because it exercises a different part of your brain. It uses the right side of the brain a little bit more and it, it might help uh, carry over in the golf course. Be more creative with the shots that you hit. I think it's really correlated to me. Art is life and golf is life. Every moment you spend taking in the experience of being in an open golf course and having nature and beauty around you, there is definitely a parallel between both. So cool. It's just meant to be like uh, shipping blocks here? They are shipping containers. That's how it goes from blue to exactly. yellow and red. Yeah. Very impactful piece. Wow, that is fantastic. Yeah. Right? That's, that's my favorite one. Whenever you come here, it's honestly, it's jaw-dropping. I mean, you see it and all the lines and all the colors and everything, it's incredible. Thanks so much for having us. This Thanks for great. coming. It's always, it's always really cool.